it's like just you know a scene of an ocean like during your ambivalence you would be sitting at the shore and you would be enjoying everything you would be enjoying the waves you would be enjoying the sunrise sunset everything uh while pg you have to enter the ocean now hi guys and today we have a very special guest dr sathiki jadhav a resident doctor at svp hospital and presently pursuing ms in general surgery from nhl municipal medical college gujarat thank you for joining uh namaste everyone thank you so much shivam you are one of the random personalities i have come across and have seen many of your interviews so thank you so much for having me here thank you and today we will talk to dr sathiki about his experiences while pursuing ms so let's begin so how's the college life different while pursuing pg than it was while pursuing mbbs uh that's a wide difference it's like just you know a scene of an ocean like during your ambivalence you would be sitting at the shore and you would be enjoying everything you would be enjoying the waves you would be enjoying the sunrise sunset everything uh while pg you have to enter the ocean now you have to balance yourself you have to balance uh the life of other patients the responsibility increases but still uh, as i said you no know, everything occurs in phases so after once you are uh, coming to pg so first year would be diff- would be difficult everywhere the first year is difficult because you are suddenly into something uh, which as i said like you no know, whether you enter a swimming pool or maybe you enter a ocean first time you would be totally afraid so that's the thing which happens everywhere so we need to no need to worry about it that much even if you like you no know, if some things uh, to a certain period like the first 6 months the first 7 months are really difficult but after that again you know how to swim you know how to enjoy everything so that would be a roller coaster ride okay so could you please tell me about the level of clinical exposure like how does it escalate from the first year second year and third year of your ms yeah everywhere firstly i would just say that the situation is different everywhere so again the networking would be playing an pivotal role again like which colleges are offering there are certain colleges that where the cutting exposure is more you get a lot of patients and you are able to perform all the surgeries there are certain hospitals where you don't get that much patients but still after that you can go about that so it totally depends on that factor also uh but as you said like if i just put in first year second year and third year first year that's a kind of an observership like where you just observe the patient uh, you just observe your senior doctors how they are performing how they are managing the patients and that's also is one of the important parts then from first year itself you get into minor surgeries which are the minor surgery meaning where the complications are less the surgeries which take place on the superficial part of the body maybe removal of a swelling maybe debridement of like i would just get into medical terms debridement of wound is there so it starts with uh, the appendicectomy is that removal of an appendix so it starts with that and as you progress to second year then the level of the surgeries the difficulties the complexity of the surgeries increases you get to operate on hernia hydrocele is there then even the intestinal resection and anastomosis are there so you get to operate on the difficult organs the difficult surgeries and like there is a common misconception or myth you could say like uh, there are exam toppers okay so the exam toppers they might be uh, getting a gold medal at mbbs during their mbbs or they might have topped their pg entrance examination but uh, what about them like are they best at the surgery too is it something very implied uh i would just say like it's uh, totally wrong actually because every time you no know, what i have seen see i uh, have only seen the marketing strategies like okay the toppers are not good at surgeries the toppers are not like this or maybe some of the other issues or maybe those who are failing exams they won't be good at it but i just personally from my personal thing what i believe is a person with a calm and unwavering mind right who is totally like the fluidity factor is there uh, he is able to adapt to new things so that person whether is a topper maybe he has failing an exam examination that won't matter at all the even the toppers who would be with a calm mind they would be like you know trying to uh, get into new things they would be totally with an unwavering mind so they would be definitely good at surgeries others if the rigidity sets in that can be to toppers that can be to average students if your mind becomes rigid because you no know, shivam everything is controlled by your mind you take into any profession you take some maybe you uh, take some bollywood movies where the a person is dancing or maybe you take any of the other profession whether it's engineering so if your mind has got fluidity you would be you are bound to excel you are bound to perform well 
so there's consideration i want uh, uh, i would know i would not say that the top would be good or not but as i said with a fluid mind you would be definitely good at it okay so what do the students do who drop out if they just cannot keep up with the branch yeah there are many drop out rates are also many because firstly i would like to emphasize on firstly why do they drop out that's really one of the questions that no one addresses okay why the topper is dropping out because you no know, often you see people who are topping the aims exam who are have topped that jipmer exam and then suddenly drop out so the thing is again for five and a half years for 22 years 23 years of your life uh, once you complete your mbbs you would be around 22 23 if you get at the first attempt so at that point of point of time you are totally free to do whatever you want you whenever you want to study whenever you don't want to study so it's a kind of you no know, i would say no one is bound to do something but as you come into pg there would are many factors that play an important role there would be like you no know, you get into pg you have to adjust with so many of your seniors you would have to adjust with your faculties everyone would be with a different mind you have to adjust with the staff they would be like you no know, some of the people would be shouting some of the people won't be behaving good that happens that i would be totally clear about it so that are the reasons that people do drop out at certain point of time now what happens is uh, some of the important factors you should keep in mind is if you drop out the problem is like you would have to pay the fine right like suppose if you drop out of a, a college which is charging fees you have to pay 3 years of your fees uh, just by dropping out and even if you are uh, joining a government college and if you just drop out like no after pursuing for 5 6 months again there is some like fees of 10 lakhs 15 lakhs that comes in lakhs that you have to pay so that also becomes an hindrance so please take care of that thing and other than that if you are like dropping out of course option of like no appearing again for the exams next year is always there so they attempt for next year they just prepare for next year but i would advise i would advise people like before dropping out just take into consideration that the factors which are like no why you are dropping out is very important because the same situation would exist in different colleges also so at the end of the day you even have to just speak out like what are the things you are going through at that particular moment of time what are the things which are compelling you to drop out you discuss it with lot of people because you no know, what happens is when you are planning for a drop out or something you are always in your own cage you don't talk to people you don't like okay what the others would think but that's a, a point of time where you have to be open about it okay i am just going through this phase i'm going i want to drop out but somehow i'm trying that i shouldn't so even there would be you would meet certain people who also and i would just say one thing on camera also that you drop out or you don't drop out every ms student every resident has that thought of dropping out even i had even i had many times even i would just say maybe three times four times five times constantly and in the first year you would be having that thought because situations are different your sleep pattern is hampered your eating styles are hampered you are not getting like no the management is sometimes not proper so i am not uh, blaming or something but even the load is so much on everyone that sometimes you are not able to balance it so you would be going through that feeling that's very common but i would just say before doing that because you know throughout your life you have worked so much hard now just because of other factors don't drop out you just talk to your seniors or maybe not seniors maybe from some other colleges or maybe some people who have gone through this and you would be ultimately coming out with a good solution okay so that was a great discussion on your experiences while pursuing ms uh, you actually elaborated a, on a lot of stuff people don't talk about and i hope the audience must have loved that so thank you dr sathaki for this conversation thank you thank you so much shivam